Hey YouTube, this is Drew Cotton Tech here to show you how to install Android in a virtual machine. So let's say, I'm gonna see what Android would be like on a computer, more specifically in a virtual machine. Or you wanna try running Android apps in a virtual machine, or maybe you're a developer who wants to test Android apps on the same system. So that's the case, you came to the right place. So first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to osboxes.org slash androidx86 I'll have this link in the description. All right, and if you use my link in the description, it'll take you right to the VMware download for Android x86 8.1 R3. That's the latest version of Android that's available from here. But anyway, you're gonna click download, and I'll take you to the SourceForge page for the download, and then just save the file. Now I've already downloaded this file. I get it right here in my downloads folder. So what I'm gonna want to do is open it up, and then extract this VMDK file. Now I've already extracted it, we've got it right here in my VMware folder. So now what you're going to want to do is open up VMware, create a new virtual machine, and you're going to click I will install the operating system later, because the virtual disk is already configured with Android. But anyway, you're going to select Linux, because Android is technically a Linux distro. And then you're just going to select other Linux 4.x 64-bit, and then hit continue. And then the virtual machine name should be the same name as your VMDK file. So you might want to call it something more useful, like Android. Then next, and then let's store this virtual disk as a single file. Now you cannot set this, it'll just set it for you, so we can just ignore that. And then RAM, we want to give it two gigabytes. You have to do that just because of the way it measures. And you want to give it two cores. This doesn't matter because Android devices don't have CD drives. Actually, I might want to remove that. And then network, just set it to bridged. And then you can just set this to USB 3.0. And then display, you're gonna click accelerate 3D graphics. And hit close, and then hit finish. Then what you're gonna wanna do is go into the VMware folder and move this VMDK file into the Android folder. Okay, then click replace. It'll show that if you called your VMDK file the same thing as your virtual machine. And then you can boot up your virtual machine. Basically what we did there is just swapped out the virtual disk so that way Android would be installed. There you go, it'll show this grub menu. Just click Android x86, and then will go ahead and boot your device. And there you go. Pretty much everything from here on out should be just as if it was on an Android device. You even got the Play Store where you can download Android apps. This will even work with .apk files. Now you will need to sign into your Google account, so I'm not gonna bother doing that, but it actually does work. And if you wanna shut down your system, you actually have to power off a virtual machine like that. That is how you install Android in a virtual machine. So thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it interesting, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.